Hello, story time with Veena. So today I'm going to narrate a beautiful Indian folk tale. All right. And the name of the story is The Cat Who Became a Queen. Now listen carefully. Many years ago, there was a king who had hundreds of wives, but no children. Eventually, this became too much for the king, for him to bear. He was extremely angry and he stormed around the palace in a terrible temper, his face tight and his fist clenched. Why me? He roared. What have I done to deserve this? What is wrong with this woman? Hundreds of wives and not a single try? Well, I've been patient long enough. If one of them do not produce a child within the next year, I'll banish the lot of them and start again. The harem was thrown into a frenzy. Every wife prayed that she would bear the king's child. But as the months slipped by, it became obvious that none of them were pregnant. Mm, what will happen now? Fearful of banishment, they sent word to the king that one of his wives was expecting a child. And in due course, they announced the birth of a princess. In actual fact, the harem cat had a litter of kittens and the king's wife had adopted one of them. Oh my God, what a tricky situation. Naturally, the proud father asked to see his daughter, but the wives had anticipated this request and sent word that the Brahmin had declared that the child must not be seen by her father till her wedding day. The years went by and the king constantly inquired tenderly about his daughter. He had longed for a son to succeed him, but he was content. By all accounts, his daughter was wise, healthy and beautiful. He would marry her to a suitable prince and she would make him proud. When his daughter was old enough to marry, the king sent for his counsellors and instructed them to find a prince worthy of her. Eventually, a handsome, clever and kind-hearted prince was found and the marriage was arranged. What will happen now? What on earth were the king's wives to do now? Surely they would be found out. They put their heads together and decided that there was nothing for it but to confide in the prince and trust to his good nature not to betray them. So they sent for the prince and told him everything, making him swear not to reveal the secret to anyone, not even his own family. The marriage was a lavish affair lasting all day and night and most of the night the king having eaten and drunk rather more than was good for him let the wedding party go without seeing his daughter if he had looked in the carriage what he would have seen do you know he would have seen a cat sitting on a silk cushion then what would have happened to the king it's a good thing that he couldn't see the wedding party reached the prince's country safely and the prince smuggled his wife into his room without anyone seeing. He took great care of the cat, showering her with love and affection, but he made sure that the room was locked at all times and forbid anybody to enter. One day, while the prince was away, his mother went up to his room and knocked on the door saying, My dear daughter in law I just wanted to tell you how sorry I am that you are locked in this room all the time and forbidden to see anyone. It must be so lonely for you. I long to meet you, my dear, but perhaps you do not wish to meet me. I am going out today. You could leave your room and no one will see you. Will you come out? Seeing that, the prince's mother left. The cat understood every word, realizing that she was condemned to her lonely existence forever. She wept bitterly, thinking of the long years ahead. The sound of her crying was so heart-rendering that the princess mother herself, upset, vowed that she would give her son a piece of her mind on his return. But Parvati, wife of the great god Shiva, also heard the cat and rushed to Shiva, begging him to have mercy on the poor, helpless cat. Tell her, said Shiva, that there is a small bottle of orange blossom oil in her room. 
she must rub it all over her body. Her fur will vanish and she will become a beautiful woman. As soon as the cat was told this, she rubbed the oil all over herself, leaving only one tiny patch of fur on her left shoulder so that her husband would believe her incredible story and recognize her as his wife. When the prince returned that evening, he found the most breathtakingly beautiful woman in his room. When he learned that she was his wife, he was overjoyed and wasted no time in introducing her to his family. His mother took one look at the radiantly happy girl and saw there was no need to scold her son. This surely was a marriage made in heaven. A few weeks later, the prince and his wife visited his father-in-law. The father, seeing his daughter for the first time, was quite overcome by her beauty, but no more so than his wives, who, much to the king's surprise, were struck dumb. Obviously, they never dreamt that this would happen. The king made the prince his heir, and in due course, the prince became king of both countries, and the cat was his queen. Wasn't that an interesting story? I think it was. I enjoyed reading the story, and I hope you like it too. So next time with another story, I'll be back again. And in the meantime, do take care of yourselves. Bye.